Where we're sitting now is totally different to three or four years ago. You know, the sustainability argument has totally changed. There's new products on the market in plumbing, and plumbers have got the, the skills with their hands to install um, of all these new systems, but they haven't been trained in the theory. Last year, the Secretary of the Plumbers Union, Earl Setchers, filled us in on the new Climate Action Centre that is going to train plumbers in the implementation of green technologies. Last week, this spectacular centre was officially opened. It's really terrific to see such a great turnout here this morning for the official opening of the Plumbing Industry Climate Action Centre. And what a fantastic facility this is a soon-to-be-certified, five-star, green-star building that's a place where qualified plumbers can get hands-on experience in working with the green technologies that are going to put Victoria's plumbers at the forefront of the fight against climate change. It's a research and development centre where the solutions of tomorrow can be developed and tested today. It's an investment in people it's an investment in skills and it's an investment in tackling climate change. But one of the things about climate change is it will create a climate of opportunities. And um, I believe that to be absolutely true. And this centre is a great example of the opportunities that present through climate change. Some of the teaching areas here, some of the new technology that's on display here, the new skills that are going to be provided to people in this industry. All of this is about creating new jobs in the future. A report commissioned by the British government recently found that the global low carbon economy was worth three trillion pounds globally last financial year, so more than um, six trillion, closer to seven trillion Australian dollars. And that's what I mean by a climate of opportunity. Increased water and energy efficiency, greater use of alternative energy and cleaner, greener technology I believe will underpin much of the future prosperity of our Victorian economy, the national economy and increasingly the global economy. And it's for all of those reasons why, as I said, I believe that this centre is a great asset for our state and why I'm proud to be here today to officially open it. There's a lot of people to be acknowledged, but it does take a few individuals who have an idea which then turns into something real. And, you know, as I say, I recognise the uh, role of the employer associations in the plumbing industry for being progressive and forward minding about the need to train skills, but also the plumbers union themselves. As anyone would know, if you've uh, been pressured or lobbied or, or cajoled or persuaded, uh, Earl Setchers is normally at the end of the phone explaining to you the benefits of this centre. So I'm sure many of you will breathe a quiet sigh of relief that today has arrived so that um, we can get back to the rest of our lives, because today is a... Um, Today is a remarkable achievement of Earl's and I know that um, Minister Carr and the Rudd government particularly would like to acknowledge the work of the Plumbers Union led by Earl Setchers. Well done today Earl, it's a big accomplishment. Following a study tour to the US in 2006 and seeing firsthand the cooperative approach used by unions and employers, the Victorian plumbing industry was inspired to set up a similar model. Our aim was to see the industry come together in partnership to create a training centre of excellence for plumbing trades. The training organisations of the Plumbing Trades Employees Union, the Master Plumbers and Mechanical Services Association, the National Fire Industry Association and the Air Conditioning and Mechanical Contractors Association of Australia have come together, along with the Plumbing Industry Commission, to develop this state-of-the-art plumbing industry climate action centre. Together, we had the vision to establish a world's best practice facility that will offer the highest level of training for our plumbing trades, the workforce in Victoria, and today we stand united, committed in the vision. This accomplishment here today is only because of labor and management cooperation. Uh, we feel very dear to that because that's one of the lessons that we tried to bring across, across the pond, so to speak. Our collective efforts with the Plumbers Union and with the associations here, you can see them everywhere you're here today. I have never been, of course, in a facility that's been quite as grand on the green energy technologies, and I think that's because you're far ahead of the curve than we are mainly by your drought uh, conditions. But I want to tell you that uh, we'll be taking this stuff home. We're going to steal your ideas, plagiarize them like crazy. So we hope that uh, uh, you allow us that. And uh, we're proud, again, to be with you today. I think this is uh, a sensational centre. It's a great step forward. 
It's an example of fantastic collaboration uh, between associations, the unions, employers and government all coming together to take a big step forward and this is about investing in people, it's about investing in skills and it's about investing in the climate change economy to create jobs for our state's future. So I think it's a great initiative, well done.